Hey everybody, Jackson here from The Zip Guys, here for another Zip Tip. Today we're going over how to create a new transaction template inside of Zipform. Before we get started, we need to define the difference between a working transaction and a transaction template. A working transaction is one that we create and edit on the transaction tab of our Zipform account. These transactions have specific information, such as property address, buyer and seller information, as well as pricing and terms. A transaction template is a pre-built set of folders, forms, documents, placeholders, checklists, and tasks that we apply to a working Zipform transaction. Creating transaction templates can save agents valuable time by making repetitive tasks, such as creating folders, a one-time action while encouraging consistency with how transactions are organized and completed from day to day. To create a new transaction template, we will click on Templates and then click Forms and Checklists. Click New to start a new transaction template. We will now select the transaction type. For this demonstration, we will select New Purchase or Offer. We can see here on the template information that there are two required fields, the template name and the category. Below the category, we see Auto Apply Options. The default for new templates is to Do Not Automatically Apply. If we want this template to auto apply, we will select the second radio button. Notice here that because we haven't chosen a category yet, there is an asterisk. As we select our category above, the auto apply options update below. These are the automation triggers that tell the system when and where we want our templates to apply. For this template, we will select residential. Click save to move on. We can now start adding information and forms to our template. We will start by adding ourselves to the transaction template by selecting the parties tab. This is a purchase template, so we will first add our information as the selling agent. We will add our information and then click Save to move on. We will click Documents to begin adding forms. Click on the All Forms menu to open the Forms Library. Make sure that you have the CAR Library selected. We will first add a cover sheet and then the purchase agreement. For this template, I will be adding a document placeholder for the pre-approval. You can add a document placeholder to your transaction template when you need to indicate that a particular document is needed, but the document is not yet uploaded to the transaction. Placeholders serve as both a reminder and a checklist to ensure that all needed documents are present on a transaction. To add a placeholder, we click Add Doc from the navigation bar. Click Create Placeholder. Type a name for the placeholder that clearly indicates what document belongs in the placeholder, such as the target document name, in the Name field. You can specify whether this placeholder is required or not. Then click OK to create your document placeholder. Your placeholder has successfully been created. As a reminder, auto-applied templates should not have any specific information saved in the forms. We are not adding any buyer information, seller information, or property information. We do, however, see that the selling agent information that we added to the Parties tab has flowed to the cover sheet. Adding our purchase agreement to the workspace, we can see that our selling agent information has been added to the RPA as well. Templates allow us to add other generic information as well. On the disclosure regarding real estate agency relationship, for example, we can check the buyer box. Now that this is checked, we will not need to check this box each time we start a new residential purchase transaction. Stay tuned for more Zip Tips from the Zip Guys.